Hey guys, welcome to another taste test video. Today I have uh, some Chips Ahoy cookies, uh, but not just any Chips Ahoy cookies. They're actually the limited edition Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy cookies. Um, unfortunately, Amazon decided to package it in one of these envelopes instead of a box. So they kind of got crushed to shit. Uh, so because of that, Amazon, go fuck yourself. But um, here we go. Oh, that actually it smells very fruity. Um, I would say it smells more like fruity pebbles than Sour Patch Kids. But then Sour Patch Kids isn't really. I don't recall any real smell to them. It smells good. <laughs> very good though. We'll find a cookie that is whole. See, that? it's got little uh, pieces of, I'm guessing it's actually the candy itself. I do see on the back there's like some candy chip pieces or something. Let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Mm. It's not bad. Not as sour as the cereal was. Uh, however, I would say the sour in these cookies should be up more, and the sour of the cereal should have been down. Um, yeah, it definitely has actual pieces of the actual candy in it. Yeah, it has actual pieces of candy in it, so that texture is kind of a little funky, but it doesn't hurt the cookie itself. Honestly, I would prefer if they were the chewy kind, I actually prefer the chewy kind of the, the hard um, chips of cookies. Granted, I don't eat cookies all that often. Uh, and when I do, they're usually the Thin Mints from the Girl Scouts. But, um, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, it's like colored almost like a colored white chocolate that kind of is fruit flavored. So you got that, normal. I don't even think these have um, normal chocolate chips in them. No, these don't even have normal chocolate chips. It's got the candy colored fruit flavored ones. Yeah. Get the fruit, fruit flavored uh, candies, uh, chocolate chip type thing. I don't really taste really chocolate. So maybe it's a, a white chocolate that's a fruit flavored white chocolate. And then the Sour Patch Kid candies. Um, but it appears that the candies themselves, I'm not really tasting much sourness in them. So for, for these, I would say, for these, I'd say they are good. Again, a little more sour would be nice. But for how hard these were to get, I could not find them any store I went to here. Uh, Walmart, two different Walmarts, um, Smith's, stuff like that. I went, I tried buying them on Walmart.com. Having 
pick, uh, pickup or a ship or something. Uh, that order got canceled. I ended up having to get these from Amazon, uh, where I paid more than I should have. However, including the price was for shipping, so I'm counting you know, shipping uh, as part of that, so it wasn't as bad. But with, of course, how shitty they were packed, uh, unless you can find them in the store organically, uh, and then just run, in, run into them, they're not necessarily hunting for them. I would say, no, they're not really worth it. It's uh, too much trouble. Um, yeah, not not worth it all, but they are good. So Sour Patch Kids, uh, when it comes to the Sour Patch cereal, you guys fucked that up horribly. However, with these cookies, you actually, uh, I think you did something pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, that's all for this uh, round of uh, taste tests. Check out the next video where I'm actually going to show you. Check out the next video where I'm actually going to taste these Dr. Pepper baked beans. They're sweet and thirsty. You like sweet and thirsty? Because they're sweet and thirsty. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that other stuff. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.